you stretch and tone the class. Let's begin by just rotating your shoulders forwards and back. And again, apologies if you can hear the lawnmower, the gardener is here. Rotate your shoulders forwards and back. And then gently, let's take the hands up towards the ceiling. Give yourself a really beautiful stretch and then take the hands down. Take the hands up, stretch and down. And I can see someone else is coming to join us, so let's let them in. Okay, welcome Nigel. Big stretch and down. And again, take the hands up towards the ceiling and down. Well done Nigel, just in time. Take the hands up, round and down. One more. Excellent. Next time when you take the hands up, keep them up and start twisting your body slightly from one side to the other. Gently moving from one side to the other. Great work. And then from here, keeping the hands stretched up, just bring your feet closer together and let's just move gently, laterally, from one side to the other. Beautiful. And then gently allow from the center for your hands to come down and let's go into a gentle spinal twist. Looking round behind you to incorporate your neck. Well done. And then from here, let's just pause and let's just focus on our neck. Taking the chin up towards the ceiling and then gently down. Feeling that nice stretch at the front from the chin all the way down the front of the chest and then down. And just gently feel that nice movement up and down. Lovely. And then from here, gently looking from left to right, moving from one side to the other. Great work. And then just gently rotate the head from one side to the other, gently moving. Focusing your attention on the head. Feel free to close your eyes and just really take your attention around the neck and just loosen any tension, any knots around. Great work. Keeping the uh, head up, looking forward, you're now going to look over your left shoulder and then looking over your right shoulder, looking side to side, beautiful, and then from here, relax. Let's go back into a gentle spinal twist, looking around behind us, softness in your knees, draw your belly button in and allow the arms just to like move from one side to the other. Great work. Placing your hands on your hips, softness in the knees as you rotate the hips. Big hip circles rotating one way and then the other and just really rounding them. Lovely. From here, let's balance on one leg and gently loosening the knee. Feeling those joints loosening. Let's get the synovial fluid flowing through your knee. And then swing that leg forwards and back, making sure you're not hitting any furniture taking that leg up and down, forwards and back. Great work. And then let's take the leg from the side and out to the side and out to the side. Wonderful. Balance the leg, leave the leg out to the side for a few seconds before you come down. Take the leg out to the side before you gently come down and let's move into hip flexors. 
taking your foot up and over and rotate your ankle and your wrists. Let's move to the other side, standing nice and tall and then just loose that knee. Hold on to your furniture if you need that, if your balance isn't good this morning and then swing that leg forwards and back. Standing nice and tall, let's take that leg across the body and out to the side and out to the side. Use your hands to help you out to the side. Wonderful. From here, hip flexors. Lovely. And then rotate your ankle and your wrists. Well done. We're going to come on down, bend your knees, scoop up your imaginary, you know, scoop up your breath, taking nice breaths in, palms together as you hold your breath, raising your hands, palms out as you exhale out. Let's continue, taking a deep breath in, hold that breath, and then exhale out. And continue, breathing in, Hold the breath and then exhale out <clears throat> and continue breathing in, hold the breath and really exhale and out. As you breathe out, allow your feet to come closer together. Let's go into mountain pose and then also do an internal body scan. So allow your feet to come closer. Raise your toes, spread them and place them back down on the mat. Raise your kneecap, belly button drawn in, tuck your tailbone under. And then really lengthen your spine, stand nice and tall with your shoulders down and back and reach down towards the ground as though you want to pick something up, reach. And then the last thing to lift just a little is your chin, just a little. And really lengthen your spine. Your gaze can either be straight ahead to the floor or you can close your eyes. And really notice lengthening your spine, standing nice and tall like a lovely human mountain. And nice and tall. Lovely, keep going. Taking your shoulders down and back. Imagine you're trying to hold a pencil between your shoulder blades. And lengthen your spine. Now we're going to gently do an internal body scan. So from the head, work your way down the body, checking in with the head, shoulders, arms, and every, every part of your body, just to notice how is it feeling this morning? How are you today? If there's any area of tension, just be mindful of that area breathing love towards it and then notice in the soles of your feet are you evenly balanced or are you finding that your body weight is all forward towards your toes heels or all over to the left or right move your body just a little inch not even an inch, to get an even distribution of body weight in the soles of your feet. And when you have that, lengthen your body even more to help your muscles around your spine to really become stronger and help you with your posture. And 
and then gently, if you have your eyes closed, gently blink them open and start rotating your wrists as you are stepping your feet a little bit out to the side and you're kind of pretending you're walking somewhere. So you're raising one foot and then the other. Your wrists are just circling left to right, doing like a little figure of eight, just to loosen that. Keeping your toes to the ground, you're raising one heel and then the other, taking the body weight from one side to the other. Keeping your navel drawn in and then just really feeling that nice stretch. Lovely. We're going to concentrate on one leg, keeping your toes on the ground and just gently try to circle the heel or your foot. Just gently keeping that so you can feel it more around your ankle a bit by keeping your toes to the ground. Let's do the same on the other side, rotating your feet. Wonderful. Excellent. We're going to next go on to the sun salutation. So I'm going to be facing um, to my side. I'll be facing that short end of my mat. We're going to bend our knees, take a beautiful in-breath in as we take our hands out, back bend before you then dive forward and fold in half. Remember to keep your knees generously soft, especially if there is tension in the back of your um, legs. Place your hands or fingertips down on the mat, bend your knees gently and then gently stretch them out. So keeping your fingertips on the mat, bend the knees and then gently straighten the legs. It doesn't have to be completely straight, but just bend the knees and straighten. So you should feel a nice stretch at the back of the legs going in towards your glutes as well. Bend your knees, come up into half fold, aeroplane arms out to the side. Now notice, is your body weight all the way back? If so, allow your body weight to come forward without raising the heel. Draw that navel in <clears throat> and stay here, half fold. Feel that stretch at the back of the legs. Keep breathing and notice the stretch is easing and going away. Then gently come on down into plank, stepping one foot back and then the other. From plank position, rest your knees, keep your feet nice and flat, but don't sit back. Three quarter plank, let's stay here in a three quarter plank, so your body weight is forward. Don't drop the hip, keep your tailbone tucked under, so you can really feel it in your abdominal muscles. And really feel that nice work. Then gently take those hips back. And let's stretch the glutes as much as you can. So take the weight back, but at the same time, reach forward with your hands and really enjoy that stretching your side muscle. And really enjoy that stretch in your obliques, your back. You can rest your forehead on the mat if you want to or you can stack your hands underneath if it's more comfortable, but just really stretch those muscles. Whilst you're here, wiggle your body weight all the way to the left, all the way to the right. So it's a child's pose movement, side to side, where you can also really feel that stretch. Gently keeping your hands on the mat, travel forward to travel into Cobra. If you have lower back issues, keep your forearm on the mat. Otherwise, raise yourself up, stretching those forearms out. Look over your shoulder, towards your feet, over one direction and then the other, to help you stretch out a little more. Be gentle. If it's too much, just do what you can as you look from left to right. 
from one side to the other. Wonderful. Then take your body weight back and now take your time between child's pose and cobra and just gently keep moving forwards and back. Let's go. In child's pose, make sure your big toes are, stop, are touching. And when you're in cobra, like, make sure you're looking high and enjoying that stretch in your obliques and the front abdominals. Wonderful. Travel back into co into child's pose and let's get ready to raise the hips. So curl your toes under, spread your fingers nice and wide, have your knees bend and then raise those hips up towards the ceiling and really try and take that body weight back towards your legs. Let's bend one knee and then the other and really move and wiggle those hips side to side as you're stretching those legs out. Remember, push away from your hands. Don't have that body weight over your hands. The hips are going up and back. Bend those knees one at a time or both at the same time. Really enjoy that stretch. Beautiful. From here, bend your knees, look forward, walk, step or jump to the front. And then gently come up into half fold with aeroplane arms out to the side. Squeeze your shoulder blades. So this aeroplane is like mountain pose, but in half. So your shoulders are down and back, straight back. And then come all the way down into full fold interlace your fingers behind your legs and enjoy that stretch at the back of the legs feel that stretch then gently bend the knees and take a beautiful in breath as you come all the way up and relax standing nice and tall beautiful okay lovely people let's get ready for another one Softness in the knees, breathe in. Back bend before you then dive forward and fold in half. Keeping your knees straight or bent, you choose. Body weight is forward in this full fold, even distribution in the soles of your feet. Then gently come on up into half fold, aeroplane arms. Come on down into plank and then three quarter plank, resting your knees on the mat. Take that body weight back into child's pose and stretch. <clears throat> really take those hips back and then take your time as you travel forwards and back. Traveling back and forward. Really enjoy and notice that stretch and if you're finding that you want to stay in one position longer than the other then you can. That's absolutely fine to do that. Let's get ready to raise those heels Curl your toes under, spread your fingers nice and wide so you get a good grip of your mat. And then come up, bend one knee and then the other just to stretch out your muscles to help you help them toning. 
Move the hips as well, slightly left to right. Wiggle those hips. Bend both knees, push that body weight back towards your thighs. Take a lovely in breath. Then as you breathe out, stretch your legs. Breathe in, bend both knees. And then as you breathe out, straighten the legs. One more, bend the knees, breathe in. And then breathe out. Beautiful, from here, bend the knees, look forward, travel forward. Gently coming up into half fold. Aeroplane arms, body weight forward, fold in half, feel that stretch, then softness in the knees as you come all the way up to standing, hands out to the side, palms together in front of your heart space, lovely. One more sun salutation where I'm going to break things up in between there as well. So, listen out. Okay. Breathe in. Breathe out as you fold in half and look at your legs. So let's stay here a moment and start bending one knee and then the other. And do move the hips slightly left to right as you are bending one knee and then the other. Your fingertips are touching the mat and you're just gently bending one knee and then the other. And as you're bending, you're feeling that nice stretch from around the glutes going down the back, down the leg. So really move those hips. Beautiful. Gently bend both knees, come up into aeroplane, aeroplane arms. We're now becoming a bird, so you're going to take your hands down. Palms are touching before they go out to the side, a little higher than your hips, and then come on down. Keep going, a nice bird. Squeeze your shoulder blades as you raise up. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Your arms are slightly bent at the elbow, so the arms don't have to be completely straight. One more. Hold it there. The squeeze becomes now aeroplane wings. Keep those arms out to the side. Body weight is forward towards your toes, but you're not raising the heel. Bend gently come on down into plank. Step or jump your feet back. In plank position, rest your knees on the mat. Take your feet down so they're nice and flat. Tuck your tailbone under and really feel it in your abdominal muscles, okay? Allow your hands to come a little bit closer uh, together in the center, but also to help you support your chest. So they're coming a little closer because what we're going to do now is like um, a lizard. You're going to raise one hand up in this three quarter plank, uh, or you can even touch your opposite shoulder and then place that hand down and change. Either touch your opposite shoulder or just raise that hand. So you can be like an animal like a lizard, it's hot sand underneath your, your paw, or you can touch the opposite shoulder as well. Try not to move the body at all, try not to twist anything, you're just raising one, one hand and then the other. You should really feel this working not only in your arms, supporting your upper body, but also in your abdominal muscles. Feel this working for you. Lovely. From here, take that body weight back and sit back into child's pose, keeping your hands stretched out. So imagine your palms are facing in, 
and you're reaching out as though you're wanting to hold someone's hand in front but at the same time your hips are being pulled back you can of course rest your forehead on the mat but keep the palms on the side so your thumb is pointing to the ceiling and keep going and really feel that stretch with your hands like this you should feel it more in your um, biceps as well and really stretch those arms let's take a nice in breath and as you breathe out stretch one more take an in breath and then as you breathe out imagine you're being pulled forward with your hands and back with your hips wonderful feel that stretch great taking a beautiful in breath you're going to come up on your hands and knees and we're going to go into the cat and cow so checkpoint is that your hands are in a straight line with your shoulder your kneecap in a straight line with your hips and then let's round our back as we completely empty the lungs in cats. So really round your back and then take a beautiful breath in as you look forward and continue. Round in your back, so really curl that spine, allow the head just to relax. Be mindful how you are breathing. <clears throat> Taking your time, keeping your abdominal muscles active. Feel that stretch. Allow the head to relax in cat. Really exaggerate this move. neutral spine when you go into cow wonderful that's really nice and then here we're going to freestyle and wiggle and move the body how you like allow the head just to relax beautiful excellent from here we're going to go back into three-quarter plank and we're just going to, so your knees are where they are. You're just going to take your hands forward a little more so that as you lean forward without collapsing your hips. And what you're going to try and do is on the three quarter plank, you're going to try and take one knee as far as you can forward and then place it back into like this three quarter plank. And then if the other knee on the other side, take it forward. So if this is too easy for you, you can also do this in plank position. But otherwise, your hands are on the floor and you're just taking one knee in towards your arm. So take it in. Try and touch the outside of your arm. You should then really feel it around your waist. Three-quarter plank. Touch the outside arm, but otherwise an easier version is just taking the knee in from one to the other. But let's do the outside, or you can do it in plank. Of course, doing it in plank is harder. So just do what you can. One more on each side. Beautiful. And then relax down into child's pose or you can just sit back towards your heels and relax lovely before we move on we're just going to sit up a little and just give your wrists a little massage just in case they're complaining well done 
We're going to just do one or two more on our hands and knees before we go on to our back and focus more stretching, working our back muscles and leg. So here, if your wrists are complaining, I like to create a fist. So the pressure is off the wrist. You're going to extend your left leg out behind you, keeping your left toes down towards the mat. Raise that left heel and lower that left heel. So it's raise and lower. So you're not actually going any higher than your hips. So just your left heel, touch the mat, raise the heel. So to your left big toe, touching the mat and raising. Your hands remain on the mat, okay? It's just your left leg. You're trying to keep everything still and try and point the heel back and the toes straight down, keeping that little toe pointing towards the mat. That will help you to keep your hips straight. And then one more and let's change sides. Your hands stay where they are. Extend your right foot, right toes are down especially your little toe pointing down towards the mat. <clears throat> and just raise and lower, keep that heel pointing back. Raise and lower. That's it. Just the heel, up and down. And relax. Wonderful. Sitting back uh, onto your heels or resting in child's pose just for a moment. And just remaining mindful to remain here on the mat. Our mind is so good with chatters that it takes our thoughts away. So try to stay here. One more with the back for our back even. You're going to place a tabletop position, freestyle and move your body how you like. Now we're going to be doing opposite hand and knee to crunch and extend. So I'm going to extend away my left leg and my right arm. And then I'm going to crunch and round my back as I look at my left knee before I then extend my hand and leg. Let's begin. Round your body and then extend. So it's a combination of cat and cow and then extending this kind of superman, super people. Let's go. Nice and controlled. If you're finding the balance um, troublesome, then rest your hand on the mat, but your leg will need to still move round that back, extend the leg, keep going. Two more, last one, and then relax, freestyle, move the body. Let's do it on the other side, extend that right leg, <clears throat> the left hand, then crunch and extend crunch and extend. So this is working for your balance. This is helping those little muscles around your spine, around your midline. A few more. Nice and slowly, don't go too fast nice and controlled and really exaggerate the stretch, hand forward, leg forward and back. One more, freestyle, move the body how you like, forwards, back, side to side, or just sitting back. Allow your shoulders just to round back. If sitting on your feet is too much, take your feet away, cross your legs 
and let's just focus on the shoulders before we get on our back. So please placing your fingertips on your shoulders and just move the elbow forwards, back, round and just kind of round your back open. Just really be mindful and just really do what feels good before we get onto our back let's place our fingertips behind us body weight slightly back round uh, no open up the chest squeeze the shoulder blades together lift the head the chin up towards the ceiling so feel that nice stretch across the chest shoulders are down chin is up Beautiful. Gently come and join me on, on your back, on the mat, where we're going to start by hugging your knees in towards your chest. So nice and controlled. Keep your knees bent. Hug your knees in towards your chest and just give yourself a really nice, well done hug to yourself. Give yourself some well done. Thanks for making this class this morning and joining me online. Flex and rotate your feet. Beautiful. And then let's place your right foot, keeping that right knee on, uh, keeping that right knee bent placing that right foot on the floor, keep hold of your left shin. Hugging that left shin in towards your body a little more than before, so you can really feel that nice stretch in your glutes as well. And then gently, you're gonna lift that left leg, slight bend in the knee, and you're holding on to your uh, left calf muscles. Okay, so bend that left knee. Your toes are pointing down towards your face. So you should really enjoy a nice stretch at the back of the legs, back of um, your calf, hamstrings, glutes, Take a nice in-breath and as you breathe out, see if you can get that leg closer towards you. Bend generously the knee. And then gently, let's do the same on the other side. So let's start by hugging our right knee in towards our chest as much as we can and feel that stretch in your glutes. Then lift that right leg. Toes are pointing down towards your face. Bend that right knee generously or not. Hold on to your calf. Take a beautiful in-breath and as you breathe out, allow that leg to come closer. Breathe in, relax. And then as you breathe out, allow that foot to come closer and stretch and really enjoy that stretch at the back of the legs. Beautiful. Rest your feet on the mat. Walk your toes so that they're touching the edges of your mat. And now window wipe your legs, both to the left, both to the right. And see if you can touch the floor with, with your legs. Your arms are out to the side, palms are facing up towards the sky. And then just drop your legs in one direction, it doesn't matter which side. And if you want to deepen that stretch just a little more, look in the opposite direction. Breathe and relax. Sometimes we don't realize how much tension we're holding on to it. So take a nice breath and then do your best to relax those muscles. Let's take the feet to the other side. Breathe in. 
and relax. In breath and out breath. Take your hands above your head and imagine your hands are being pulled up and your ankles together are being pulled down. Enjoy that stretch happening in your tummy muscles. Stretch those muscles. Feel yourself being pulled apart. And then gently relax and place your hands wherever it's most comfortable for you. Beautiful. Let's tense and relax the whole body. So scrunch your nose, eyes, eyebrows, all the way down. Tense every part of your body. Nice and strong, tense. And then nice sigh as you just let go and relax. Two more. Tense the whole body. Nice and strong, tense, tense, tense. Nice and strong. And then sigh as you relax. One more. Tense everything. Tense, tense. Nice and strong. Last one. Every muscle. And then as you sigh, feel yourself melt into your mat and relax. Taking your attention to your breath. Be mindful how you're breathing. Relaxing the body. Make sure you're nice and comfortable. And breathe normally. Focusing on your breath. Wonderful. Let's think of something nice. A great day for all. Today is your lucky day. So let's gently move round to one side. Wiggle your fingers and your toes to allow your awareness to come back. And then when you're ready, come up and let's say goodbye.